Yes, hello there guys and welcome to Funfairs and Theme Parks UK's Top 10 Rides of 2022. In this video we highlight all the rides we've ridden this year, which are the best of the best rides we have ridden. So, no messing about, let's get into the video. Yes, so starting at number 10 we have the uh, Jackson Wall Circle Base Activator owned by Robert Cooper. I rode this ride at Hartlepool Marina Valentine's Fair this year. It was a very good waltz that had a fun fast spin, a good atmosphere. It's everything what a waltz should be in my opinion. Um, the staff on it are very friendly. Shout out to the staff. Top quality ride. We enjoyed my ride on this machine. So at number 10 in my top 10 rides of the air video we have Robert Cooper's Base Activator Jackson Made Walsa. Yes, guys, at number nine, we have the SDT Audion Terrier owned by Keith Turner. I rode this ride at the Hopkins in June of this year. Very fun, fast ride. I really enjoyed it. Top 10 Terrier, easily. The best Terrier, for my opinion. Um, it's a fun, fast ride. If you see this at Tuna State, you need to cling on because this thing has a good bounce. Um, so at number nine, it's Keith Turner's SDC Make Audion Terrier. Yes, guys, at number eight, we have the Jet Force Extreme owned by John Davis Jr. Uh, I rode this Extreme at Newcastle when I won just last month. It was a very fun, intense Extreme ride. I couldn't recommend it enough. It has time to be the best Extreme in the company once its gears and its bearings have all developed. Um, I think if this run ran a manual cycle for the uh, every ride, it would be really, really intense. I love a good manual Extreme. Um, yeah, it was very good, very intense, highly recommend it. If you see this ride at a John Davis Fun Park near you, I recommend you to be honest. So at number 8, we have John Davis's brand new Tivoli Remix Extreme called The Jet Force. So at number 7, we have the KMG Freakout called Spring Break, owned by Frank Smith. I rode this ride in July at Ocean Beach Pleasure Park in South Shields. Um, yeah, it was a really, really good ride. It blew my mind away. I wasn't really a big fan of Freak Outs till I rode this one. I did ride Charlie Holmes one at Nunsmore in 2021, which I didn't enjoy if I'm honest with you. I was actually sick of it. Um, but I caught up my Fiat and went on this Freak Out at uh, South Shields, which, yeah, was really good. High expectations for this one when I say it next. Um, it has been fully refurbished since this video, which was recorded in August of 2021. It has had a fully new uh, colour change in lighting package. Um, it is currently operating in Kuwait when I wonderland and I can't wait to see it back in the UK next year. So at number 7 is Frank Smith's KMJ Freakout Spring Break. Yes, at number 6 guys we have William Houghton's Hoss Break Dance. I rode this at uh, South Shields obviously in July 2022 again, previous to the last ride. Um, little did I know that these three rides I had on Houghton's Break Dance would be the last ones I'd have of it in Ocean Beach as next year. And um, the Sheeran Brothers, well, Maxwell, has bought uh, the Toshi Main Breakdance from Japan, uh, which I'm looking forward to riding personally. Um, I've seen videos of it in Japan, not its best, but it's going through a full refurb, so I can't wait to get on that. I just want to say, uh, how can Breakdance be a big miss? And I love this machine, really world well class. It can be found at Rating Arena till the 2nd of January. It's a great ride. So at number six is William Houghton's Horse Breakdance. Yes, at number five we have the Super Bob owned by MB Attractions, which is Max Warren and Black and Red Fans. This was uh, a ride that I rode for the first ever time this year and that I hadn't seen till February this year. This Super Bob really, really blew me away. It's so good, it's so fast, it's actually really rough, but I like my Super Bob for you guys know that. Um, yeah, it's a great ride overall, really, really fast. Couldn't expect any more better from it, actually, if I'm honest with you, it's really, really great. Um, it's ranked up there as one of the best rides I've ever done, actually, it's that good. Um, as you can see by the video, it's going dead fast backwards and goes backwards, also goes forwards really, really fast. Um, yeah, great. And it's car 15 is faster than it's car 7, may I tell you. Yeah, so uh, uh, number 5, it's Max Warren and Bradley Bedford, otherwise known as MB Attractions, Super Bowl. Yes, guys, at number 4, we have the Techno Power Tivoli Remix owned by Mitchell Taylor. I rode this ride at Hartley Boom Marina Valentine's Fair back in February. This was my first extreme that I've done. I really enjoyed it, it was really intense. It's got great staff and ultimate lighting package. Uh, it's amazing really 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 good and um, scotland are really lucky to have this ride i hope one day uh, eventually try it older 
sibling in uh, France Technical Power Direction Automat, or however you pronounce it. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. This ride, I couldn't recommend it enough. If you go with Taylor's Fair, you need to get on Technical Power because honestly, it is crazy. It's got good hang time. Um, it's very fast. It goes slow, fast. Yeah, it's crazy. So number four is Mitchell Taylor's Techno Power Tipley Wheel. At number three, we have the UK's only Tipley Rope 10 Exciter owned by Dean Crow. I rode this ride at the Hoppings in June on opening night. It was my last ride of the night after finishing work. Yes, I did work at the Hoppings. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed Exciter. It's with it being its only kind in the world, it is crazy. I would like to really try its uh, predecessor, the Tip Top one day, which obviously Crows had many years before Exciter came along. Exciter has a state-of-the-art lighting package. Not a single bulb is out on this machine, which is immaculate. Crows kept this ride in really good condition. I rode this ride with um, a close friend from the Pro Accelerate and friend of the channel, Matthew. Really enjoyed this. Uh, so at number three, we have Dane Crow's Tivoli Rock 10, the only one in the world, called x -Ita. So as we get closer to number one, it's time to reveal number two. As you can see by the video, the number the uh, second best ride of the year is the Tivoli Remix called Void, owned by Gerald Reeves. I rode this ride at Slate as Funfair in Carlisle in October. This is my favourite extreme of all time. It is really good. I did have a manual cycle on it, which was recorded. Um, my reaction was recorded on this ride by friend of the channel, Feed Park Banners. I'll leave um, the link to his video in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, Void is immaculate. It's kept in really good condition. The best x in the country by far. When it's on manual, it's mad. Even on the auto send, it's so, so fast and powerful. It feels like it's going to take your feet off, really. Um, Void is really good. I recommend it. It can be found at Lionbro Carnival uh, through mid January. Yeah, so really enjoy it. So, at number two in the top 10 rides of the year is uh, Gerald Reeves Void Tivoli Remix at number two. Yes, yeah, so number one ride is John Davis's NA ride, Superstar. I rode this ride at Newcastle when I went back and I fell in love with it instantly. Um, the first time I rode it, I was impressed with how a Superstar works. Um, I never rode a Superstar till last month. I really, really enjoyed this. Really intense, really powerful, especially when uh, the girl who was operating and stopped moving on my third ride. We actually thought she was going to take the boot backwards and have a spin and upside down, which couldn't do that. Um, yeah, but Superstar is a great ride overall. It's got great staff who operate us. It. It's um, with every penny I paid for it. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed Superstar. I can't wait to get back on a Superstar next year. Hopefully, I'll be doing Michael Houghton's one before the Houghton's next year. But um, I can't wait to get on top star. Uh, yeah, so the number one round of the year is John Davis's Superstar. So there we have it guys, the top 10 rides of the list for this year is completed with. I just want to say a big well done to all the rides that made this video. There were some machines that uh, didn't make it obviously, but it was really hard to think this list out. Um, yeah, all the rides I've rode this year have been great, but these are the ones that stood out most to me. This was based off staff, atmosphere, and the ride itself, and appearance, and all these stand out with most of these machines that I cannot buy. Um, so yeah, I just want to say a big well done to everyone, commiserations to those who didn't make it, but well done to John Davis's Superstar for making number one. Next year, Fun Fairs and Theme Parks UK will be back with a ban. We don't know where we're starting off next year, it could be Hartlepool, it could be somewhere else. Um, yeah, but I can't wait to be back me on the grounds next year, making videos for you all to enjoy. Thanks for watching uh, Fun Fairs and Theme Parks UK this season, I will be back soon. I hope you all have... A wonderful new year. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year, guys. Bye-bye.